Good evening, boys. I got a job for you that's right up your alley. Ho, 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 ho. This is Bonanza Brothers, released for the Master System in 1991. Converted from the 1990 arcade based on the Sega System 24 arcade board. Released for the Mega Drive as well, but today I am playing the lesser known Master System variant. And it's not a version I've played. I've played the Mega Drive one, I've seen the Master System one and thought, well, that looks pretty good for a Master System game. And I'm going to play it. I played the Mega Drive one and I love the Mega Drive one. And yeah, I mean, graphically, this holds up, doesn't it? You haven't got the split screen two player option on the Master System one like you do on the Mega Drive. There's always a split screen on the Mega Drive, just like the arcade. You have to collect the loot, like so, and get, ooh, a bit of slowdown there, and um, get out of a building. And there's a variety of buildings throughout the game, there's like casinos, and banks, and all sorts. And I'll be honest, on one of the appeals of this game is the two player gameplay, because it's, it's a great game with two players. Although it is pretty darn easy, I remember playing this around my mate's house when I was about Eight. Uh, then I was like, well, well, I think we completed it in a very short sitting. But that doesn't matter. It's great. Even if the characters do sort of remind me of knockoff Lego, Lego men. I mean, they don't have legs. But who needs legs? No one needs legs when you can shoot police officers in the face. I mean, they didn't do much. They've got, what, they've got a whistle? A whistle in your face? Uh, here we're in a bank, as you can see. I don't know why I'm backtracking. I guess I'm looking to see if there's any treasure over here. I don't think there is. Nope, that was a complete waste of time. Let us return. I think this is actually easier than the Mega Drive one, which is saying something. But then Master System games were always... Why are you running from me? You're supposed to catch me. Master System games were always based at the lower age range. I think that was the idea. Especially after the Mega Drive came out, it was seen as more of a younger children's toy. You've cleared this stage, now try the next one. I will! Thank you! The mansion! Okay, so I need to get two cups and two necklaces. And there's the little map for you to see. Uh, if you pause it, you can see the map up top. You can see where all the treasure is, which makes it even easier. Okay, let's go. Ooh, ooh, in the bum! Not very nice. Right, we've got one piece down here. It's even got the um, the music for the Mega Drive version, which I used to love. I still do. It's amazing. It's incredible. I don't know how I've lived without it. Uh, okay, you've got one piece over here. Of course, on the Master System, you have to pause it to see the map and the pause button is on the console, so, you know, you have to sit quite close to the machine if you want to keep referring to the map, and no, I'll keep pressing it now, because I'm using an emulator, obviously. I'm not accidentally pressing the pause button on the console. Uh, that happened with other games as well, like the Streets of Rage conversion for the Master System. You needed to press pause and then fire to activate the... Skywire, come on! Yeah, look at this! Yeah, this is a pretty good conversion. It's pretty colourful. The Master System is blessed with quite a lot of colours anyway, much more than the NES. You can see they've done some differing here to make the floor colours appear different, which works pretty well, which allows more colours for the rest of the screen. I think it's 16 colours the Master System can display on screen, isn't it? Uh, the colour palette of 64. Something like that. Bonus stage! Oh yeah! I'm gonna get these... No! Oh no, 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 no! That was a bad... I know I failed! That was terrible! Casino, now we're talking. Look at this, big money. Look at those lights! Uh, your armour plating does not scare me, my friend. 
I want the sheep apple for the top hat upstairs. Looks like he needs a shot in the face. Oh, shield. Alright, Robo. What are these guys called? I think they are originally called Robo and Mobo in the arcade. Although they might be called Mike and Spike in this PAL variation. Don't hold me to that. I should have watched the intro. Why can't I move? What's happened? Oh. Damn. Computer. Die. Computer's fault. Highlighted another window. Oh, he's tough, isn't he? He's a tough little cookie. A few blasts to his arm. They're not very clever, these guys, are they? Okay, I think we'll draw it to a close there. Um, you might be seeing quite a few Sega games in quick plays over the next couple of weeks. That's because I have a special program lined up, which I'm very excited about. I think you'll like it. I'm going to like it, even if you don't. So, expect some more Sega quick plays and stay tuned for whatever that program will be at the end. Thanks for watching and good night!